Hey what's up, Zach King here with the Final Cut Pro tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do the Sin City effect here in Final Cut Pro today. And I've got two photos I'm going to be working with, uh, I thought it would be appropriate with the World Cup and all, to do a soccer photo, and then also a photo of a model, but same effect, two different photos. It also works for video, I'm just going to use photos to um, help my rendering time. So let's start over here in the sequence, I'm just going to close all of the tabs and we're going to start over. So my first photo is a picture of a model here, and what we're going to do is grab in our effects the Color Corrector Freeway. If you don't have it in your favorites, go ahead down to Video Filters, Color Correction, Color Corrector Freeway. So why don't you throw that filter on there, and you're going to see the tab up here, and open up the Limit Effect bar, and you're going to see we have a few more tools that we don't have access to up here next to the three color wheels. So go ahead, grab this eyedropper, and we're going to select somewhere that we want isolated, so a color. And for this picture, I'm going to select the blue dress that she's wearing. Select that, you're going to see in the limit effect bar, we've got our blue tab that's opened up. Well, for this effect, you need to uncheck the luma and saturation for this to work. Now lower your saturation, and as we do this, you're seeing what's isolated here. This color is being isolated. So to actually see the effect turn on, hit this invert button here. Bam, blue dress. It's simple as that, Sin City effect right there. So you open up this color and play around with that. I'm lucky with this photo because there's no other blue colors in here. But if there were some other blue, you could add a mask around here and do the effect right here. Let's try the other photo. I want to show you something else that you can do with this effect. If you go down to the effects, same thing, color corrector, what you can do, grab color, saturation down, check, check, invert. Okay, so you're seeing it's all sloppy, right? And we open up the effect and it's orange. Well, you see a lot of stuff in here is kind of hitting the green, the orange. So I'm going to pull it more towards the reds. Okay, a little bit better, but it's also his shirt's very choppy, and if this were a movie, it would look kind of pixelated. Well, we can open up softening, and if you see right when I do that, it kind of blends the pixels together really nicely, and it lowers his colors on the leg here. And so, since this is near the skin tones, it's yellow and orange, I keep pulling it towards the reds. You can do some cool stuff with this too if you um, want to get a little more crazy. If you go to the numeric, we can open up this. So we get out a keyframe here, bam, pull it in, keyframes down to the effect. Same with the other picture of the model. So if I render this out, you can see what this looks like. Okay, and cancel that, and we can play it here. And there it fades into the effect like so. So that's a pretty sweet effect you can do, a little keyframing action with the Sin City effect. Play around in Final Cut Pro and have some fun. Check out FinalCutKing.com, the website. Comment, subscribe. Let me know what tutorials you want to see. I'll see you next time.